Hey what's up guys, Adrian here from Netrout Academy. In today's lesson, we will cover a topic from the CCNA exam, which is Network Fundamentals. We will explain the role and the functions of the network components, such as routers, layer 2 and layer 3 switches, next generation firewalls, access points, controllers such as DNA Center and the Wireless LAN controller, and endpoint such as PCs, servers, IP phones, and printers. But for us to better understand the topic, we will also discuss the following. What is network computer? The characteristics of a network? Physical components of a network? Lastly, how to interpret a network diagram? The term network means connecting of different components together. For easier understanding, just think of a network connected to a personal computer, servers, phones, and other type of devices that can communicate with each other. A network carries data in many types of environments, including homes, small businesses, and large enterprises. Large enterprise network might have several locations that must communicate with each other. In this section, we are focusing on some of the basics to a network. The first thing is our local area network. A LAN is a network of computers and other components that are located relatively close to each other or together in a limited area. LANs can differ widely in their size. A LAN could consist of only two computers in a home office or small business or it could include hundreds of computers in a large corporate office or multiple buildings. For example, we have an HQ here and the remote local area network is here. We're going to need a WAN or wide area network to be able to bridge those remote offices to the headquarters office. We see a couple of different levers or mechanisms or styles of one to connect this local area network. We have fiber, DSL, SD1, or MPLS. Understanding the meaning of each network characteristics enables you to better understand how the network is designed and which type of performance you should expect from it. On the next slide, we have the network devices here. But one of the important things you need to understand is how to interpret a network diagram. A proper diagram provides information such as network devices. This includes routers, switches, firewalls, and endpoints. Other information may be included in the network diagram such as the interface on a device. Let's take a look here. This interface shows a fast Ethernet, which means it has a maximum data rate of 100 Mbps, while this one, Gigabit Ethernet, have a speed of 1000 Mbps, which is 10 times more than the speed of the fast Ethernet. It is also common to include the network address of the segment in the 192.168.10.0/24 format. In the example shown in the figure, 192.168.10.0 indicates the network address. Slash 24 indicates the subnet mask, and that one and that two at the device end indicates IP addresses of the interfaces. Oh, by the way guys, a cool thing I have included is an interactive slide which you can play around and learn the different network devices and their functions. You can put your knowledge to test at the end of the presentation by playing the games I have provided for you. I hope that the discussion helped you in preparation for your exam. And if you have any questions, you may reach me in my Facebook page, NetRoute Academy, and I'll try my best to answer or assist you guys. Again, thanks for watching.